The Burning World is the sixth studio album by American experimental rock band Swans. It was released in 1989, through record label Uni Records, the band's only major label release. Co-produced by Bill Laswell and band leader Michael Jira, the album features a major stylistic shift from their past releases, being very tuneful and accessible compared to the bleak, industrialized sound from their past records. It received a mixed reception and was a commercial disappointment. The band was dropped off the record label following its poor performance. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Background and music. Following the unexpected popularity of the band's cover of Joy Division's "Love Will Tear Us Apart." The band signed to Uni Records, owned by MCA Inc. Now Universal Music. Due to Uni's insistence, Swan's leader Michael Jira co-produced the album with bass guitarist Bill Laswell. During the recording sessions, Swans, which consisted of Jira, Jarbo and Norman Westberg at that time, were accompanied by Laswell on bass guitar, as well as a series of session musicians on multicultural instruments. According to Jira, the album was recorded piecemeal, with no communication between musicians. The Burning World marks a radical shift in the band's musical style, as Swans eschewed their previous aggressive, brutal sound and fully embraced the dark Americana they flirted with on their previous album, Children of God. The album's style has been described as acoustic folk and world music rock with electric shadings. Laswell's production work also waits on the album's sound, with a much more somber, elegiac approach to music making. The album also features duets between Jira and Jarbo. According to Tom Jurek of AllMusic, guitarist Norman Westberg played as much acoustic guitar as electric guitar on the record, and Jarbo's keyboards mostly floated through the mix. Despite appreciating Laswell's production work in general, Jira was critical of the album. In 2011, he stated, I abhor that record. Bill Laswell is a very good producer, but we didn't mesh well. I was intimidated and sang in this cramped, monotone way. It didn't sell, and we got dropped. The album was reissued on CD by Water Records in 2012. Despite Jira's reservations about the record, the track, God Damn the Sun, has remained a favorite in his solo performances. Topic. Critical reception The album received mixed to positive reviews from music critics, who often criticized Bill Laswell's production. AllMusic wrote, Ultimately, Burning sounds more like a compromised major label Laswell project than a Swans album, to its overall detriment, calling the album a general disappointment. On the other hand, Trouser Press was favorable, writing, The Burning World benefits a great deal from the world music instrumentation and structural abilities Laswell brings to it. The arrangements are uniformly strong, the gentler sounds don't strike one as a compromise and the cover of Blind Faiths. Can't find my way home is both apt and surprising, ultimately calling the album a nice one that's almost as haunting as it wants to be. Rosemary Pasatino of Spin praised the album, commenting, 
shockingly, Burning World is unbashedly pretty as it is dark. She also described the album as elegant and surprisingly tender. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commercial performance. While the album reportedly sold only 5,000 copies in the United Kingdom, the single Saved enjoyed relative success, peaking at number 20 on the U.S. College Radio Charts and number 28 on the U.S. Modern Rock Tracks Chart, respectively. Following the commercial disappointment of the album, the band was dropped from Uni Records. <laughs> Topic. Track listing All tracks written by Michael Jira, except Can't Find My Way Home, written by Steve Winwood. Equals <laughs> equals personnel. <laughs>